with Porsche's small SUV about to receive a mid-term makeover, could this be a good time to invest in the current model? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Roger Bailey and today I want to find out if those motoring experts are right when they tell us that this Porsche is the very best high performance SUV that money can buy. The Macan is a proper sport utility vehicle in every sense of those words. It's a spacious practical car while at the same time totally living up to that sport billing. Taking advantage of the company's immense history and expertise in building the very best high-end performance cars and I'm here to tell you the Macan certainly does not drive like any other SUV out there. When it burst onto the scene, the Porsche Macan was a game changer. The idea of combining super high-end performance and off-road ability in the same car would have been dismissed as impossible and the answer to a question that no one had even asked. Today, they are the company's best-selling cars and buyers cannot get enough of them. And here we are in the turbo which packs 400 brake horsepower from that petrol V6 motor sending you from 0 to 60 in just 4.6 seconds and tops out at a claimed 165 miles per hour. That will put it toe to toe with some very talented high performance saloons such as the Audi RS4, BMW M3 and Mercedes AMG C63. So the Macan is the go-to car for those with a need for speed. It accelerates and sounds like a Porsche 911 through its optional sports exhaust system, especially in sports plus mode. And thanks to its seven speed PDK automatic gearbox, it's also a sublimely easy car to go quickly in. During my time with this Macan, it was the way the responsive and high revving engine mated with that transmission that impressed the most. At no point or in any gear did I feel shortchanged with its performance. It simply produced devastating turbo punch throughout the rev range. It's super fast in a straight line, but the Macan also handles like a B-road pounding sports car. Head for the B-roads and you'll be in for a treat with all the grip, poise and traction you could ever wish for. Steering is precise, well weighted, gives you masses of feedback and gives you all the confidence you could ever need as a driver. My car here is fitted with the optional PASM air suspension which gives you adjustable damping. Even when left in the standard setting it has a firm but beautifully controlled ride which just gets better the faster you go. Sport and Sport Plus modes make it ride more firmly but it sticks to the remote more securely and steers with even more precision. Using those modes is a must if you enjoy your driving. And will it successfully venture off-road? Well, what do you think? Do you think Porsche would neglect the needs of those folks with the green wellies? A Land Rover product may have an edge in most extreme of circumstances but for 90% of the time the Macan will grapple rocks, plug mud with all the best SUVs there are out there. Inside the cabin the Macan impresses too. The material quality is first rate with every control, switch and button solid and perfectly finished. The driving position is spot on with a semi-reclined sports car style that just happens to put you in a little bit higher off the ground than the typical saloon. The control layout is of course typically Porsche, so your speedometer is dwarfed by an oversized rev counter, while the heating and ventilation controls, along with just about everything else, are grouped into two columns on the centre console. This is not ideal if you're unfamiliar with the car, but you'll quickly get used to it. Thankfully most of this aircraft cockpit type of layout is to be carried over into the new 2019 facelifted car. The front and rear legroom are excellent, although headroom in the back is tight for anyone over six feet. As for sound deadening, it's impressively free of wind and road noise and the engine note that comes through is welcome because it sounds so good. In short, it's a class act in here. When ordering a Macan, as always, be careful with your options because it's all too easy to add more than £10,000 to its baseline price. Some options like PASM are essential, others you can probably do without. 
All in all, this is a sporting road car with stunning levels of lateral grip and faultless steering. It's an SUV that slices into bends with all the alacrity of a car half its height, half its weight. It actually feels quite shocking. The surprises keep coming too, as this car will actually power oversteer if you're brave enough. There is perhaps a sense that the car is ruthlessly bludgeoning the laws of physics into submission rather than deftly bending them as a lighter car might, but nonetheless, this is a true performance road car. So, is this turbocharged power pack the right car to buy? Well, the diesel S Macan will do most of this while costing less and will use at least a third less fuel. So, you go choose. So, if you happen to be looking for a supremely fast, highly capable road car, and a family car, and maybe even a mud plugger, take my advice. Look no further than the Porsche Macan Turbo.